What is up? Welcome back and good morning. I hope y'all had a wonderful 4th of July with your families. Uh, it is Wednesday. We are back. We are on the projects. You can see we have the black project car in here, all of the parts ready to go. And today we're going to get that engine in. So today is just a work, work, work day. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated on everything that's going on. You can see right here, we're changing over. He got some like purple hoses that we're gonna be putting on here. We got some stuff to put in there, his radiator hoses and stuff I was waiting on. So we got a lot to do today. As I told you guys in the last video, um, it's gonna be like engine job, engine job, engine job. Let me show you all uh, that. Uh, let me show you over here. We got the HR35 showed up, HR37 for these two cars. So this next couple videos will probably be work, work, work. But I mean, you know how it goes. I like to get it done. So anyway, with that being said, let's get started on all this. front end prepped, ready to go. It's really nice for me this time because the engine is already out, the transmission's already out. I was able to mate it over there to the other, um, you know, new setup. So all I really have to do is just get this cleaned up, maybe fix a couple things. You can see the power steering pump isn't hooked up. Normally I have the power steering pump kind of sitting off to the side as well as the AC um, compressor, but the system isn't even charged anyway, you guys can see that the hoses and stuff are right here. So um, when we put it in, we can put it all together um, and make it that much easier for us. So I think what we're gonna do next is hook up the power steering pump, kind of get that tucked out of the way, and then we're gonna put the whole thing in. Oh, I do have to get these hoses put on um, as well as the new bypass. So we're gonna do that too. All right, so now it's starting to look a little bit more like an engine bay I would be working on. You can see that we have the power steering pump. It's all hooked up, connected, no fluid in it yet, but we will. Um, and as I told you guys before, the AC compressor um, would normally be pushed off to the side if the AC system was charged, but since it's not, um, it's just on the engine now. So um, another thing I highly recommend is this Z1 bleeder valve. Um, if you guys are ever doing anything with the cooling system and where you have to drain the cooling system, I would highly recommend getting this aluminum one, um, the plastic ones. They get brittle and break and crack underneath here um, because of the engine heat. And then you'll start losing coolant and not know why. And I've had a couple people that I know blown head gaskets because this thing broke underneath and leaked out and nobody knew why or could see that it was leaking. So um, that being said, about to lace you guys up a little bit on a trick of mine. So you guys know that I like helping you guys out, showing you little tricks. One thing that I do here when I'm putting an engine in is I will jack this up. This is gonna be for the tail shaft housing um, of the transmission. And this will allow me to lower the engine in here and keep it away from this. I've showed you guys over and over and over again in other videos to stay away from this. This thing, it'll all the engine has to do is barely touch it. It'll fold this over and it'll kaboof your whole uh, um, steering rack. So. The reason why I put this in is so that way I can adjust the tilt on the um, transmission when the engine goes in and then I can use the engine hoist will go in and then I have full control over the up and down over the engine and now I have full control over the up and down of the transmission. So if you guys are attempting this, you're welcome. Um, anyway, we're about to put the engine in. So now all I need to do, drag it over here and we're gonna stuff it in. There you go. See, take your time, little finesse. Make sure that you're watching everything. Nothing's getting hit, broken, crushed. 
I don't know if you guys can see, probably not, sorry. But I didn't even touch the uh, little line that's sticking up on the power steering rack. And then I have this right here. We'll be able to hold that up until I get everything kind of buttoned up. I can put the uh, center support on for the transmission and then this will be sitting in here. Then it's just hook up the stuff all around the engine and put the front back on. So all in all, pretty easy. Um, I got a couple little things I gotta do. I noticed on here that there's a little like crack underneath here. So I wanna cut it back and put this on here a little bit farther back so I know that it's not gonna leak. Um, these are notorious for leaking because when the engine's moved, it's like, always pushed on here or something gets caught on here or if they're stacking engines or whatever they do um, for some reason these always get pinholes in them so I got to make sure that this one's taken care of but other than that now I can put the power steering on hook this up the ground all that stuff and then put the harness back over into the you know, cab Another thing that I love about doing full engines like this is when I have them out and I get to take them out and put them in the car, then it feels like my garage is like so much bigger. Um, and then another thing today, once we get at a stopping point with that, albeit whatever it is, if it runs, actually, I don't know if he's bringing the ECU today, but when we get at a stopping point, I'm probably going to take Mike's LS motor and I'm going to pull the transmission off. Um, we might have somebody that wants to buy it. And then I'm probably gonna put this up on an engine stand. And I think he was talking about actually um, handing it over to Brett to put like a cam and do some stuff uh, to it. So I don't know if he's told you guys, but I guess a little sneak peek, we are gonna be putting this in Nita's car. So um, yeah, I'm kind of stoked on it. He has the ISR stuff. I guess ISR sent him some stuff because we have been planning on um, LS swapping her car for quite some time. It's just that rev up motor for whatever reason, albeit uh, being a rev up, um, has really like lasted and actually been like really reliable. So we kind of just let it go, but now I guess it's having some issues. So we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna, yeah, start pulling this apart, have the engine taken care of, cammed, and then we're gonna put that in. So big shout out to ISR Performance. They have been doing nothing but rocking with me and Mike for a while. Mike way longer than me, but Nonetheless, I can say that I really appreciate them and all the stuff that they do and all the parts they help us out with. So if you guys need parts, check out ISR Performance. They have a, oh my God, an amazing amount of parts, not just for LS swaps, but for VQ swaps as well. Everything, you know, that you need uh, for VQ, LS, RB, um, Jay-Z, that type of stuff. So yeah, check them out, ISR Performance. Big shout out to you guys. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna get back over on this and we are gonna start hooking up um, all of the vacuum lines, all of the coolant lines, the fuel, um, and the, you know, wiring stuff. So, all right, let's get on it. Okay, and little update. You guys can see we're chugging right along. Got the radiator in. We're going to need to grab the AC condenser so we can bolt it to the front of this. And then the front can pretty much go back on. The only thing we're going to have to do from the top, other than, you know, the little stuff, is going to be putting the bolts through um, for the cats, or the nuts, should I say. Um, so we have the extension that we can put through there and do that. And then we're going to put everything else on. He just brought a whole bunch of stuff. You can see he's got everything purple. Big shout out to Lamar over at Prestige Auto Coatings. Um, he does like amazing work. Let me pull this out. Y'all can see. This camera ain't going to do it justice, but it looks so sick. So he's got his like purple thing going on. So I do have to switch up the top hat on there of the intake manifold. But other than that, um, this is gonna be pretty much done. Everything in the car will be really easy to do like the intake manifold, the hose underneath, I haven't switched yet. But um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're cruising right along. AC condenser and the top hat for the intake is on. This looks good. Like, I'm not a huge purple fan, but this looks really nice. Especially knowing where this car came from and seeing it now. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare. I did have to take the uh, nipple out of the other one and put it in this one. That was the only thing that I had to do. But, front's ready to go on. After the front goes on, I think we're going to be done for the day. Oh, I have to put this back on. That goes across here down to this. And then... Yeah, then I can put the front back on, put the headlights in and all that. Um, after we're done doing that, I think we're going to head over to Mike's um, because the um, slave cylinder on Nita's car, at least we think the slave cylinder, might have gone bad. So we're going to swap it out for this OEM Nissan, Nissan one that I have, and we'll see if that you know corrects it at all. So um, yeah, a little bit longer here, and then we're going to head out over there. Front coming together. 
and I need all y'all to go out and support my man Gary King and the Booty Hustlers. Hit bootyhustlers.com. Watch my man stuff. Gary preaching. All right, everything pretty much set where it's gonna be. This is a good stopping point for today. I'm not gonna put the bumper on. Well, I'll set the bumper on later, but you can see the switch. We need to get ready for the AC. Um, and then there's also this one in here that will go down to the compressor down there. So pretty much everything is done here. I can do some stuff underneath, but like I told you guys, I'm gonna head over to Mike's here in just a minute. Um, and then we're gonna go mess with Nita's car, see if we can't get that running properly. It might be a clutch, it might be a slave cylinder. Um, we don't know, I haven't seen it yet. So um, we're gonna, yeah, put the bumper on, close the hood down, and we are done with this project for today. So time to head over to Mike's. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, you're still there. All right, we'll see you a little bit later. I will. Oh, we're definitely taking this. What's going on with this and i'll keep you guys updated he's also vlogging so i might not do everything because i'm not trying to steal his content just so you guys know all right so we were only looking at this for like a second and i mean this reeks of clutch so it needs a clutch <laughs> case is solved so we're just kind of chilling hanging out not gonna do anything else with this it's not a slave cylinder we know for sure it's a clutch or a throw out bearing so I hang out and then i'll probably cruise back all right, and as you can see, we're on the way home. We we're just chilling, hanging out, talking. I don't really come over to Mike's as much, so it's nice to be able to just chill and hang out. But now we're on the way home. About to just get home, probably end the video, and then, uh, yeah, go in, edit, and chill. So, all right, I'll let you know when we get home. <sighs> all right, we're home. About to go inside. Hang out, chill, grab something to eat because I'm hungry, and uh, edit this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today. This is pretty much a typical day, um, especially when I have, let me fall out of this thing, um, a whole lot of engine jobs and big jobs. Um, I usually just work around the clock until I get tired. So um, yeah, I mean, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are being safe. 
staying well and all of that. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Much love. There's a baby. Thank <laughs> you.